what's going on y'all captain jody bayou bandit charters welcome back to the channel if you're new please consider subscribing out here doing some more flounder fishing today y'all uh gonna swap it up a little bit i'm gonna use the fight club uh butt kicker in the tap out color change it up a little bit uh the areas here lately that I've been fishing that had rock jetties has had a lot of big bull croaker in there and they will eventually get the tails on the dirty boxers. So I'm gonna swap it up a little bit, use some buck kickers. Let's see what, what we can get. All right, we're gonna get our little buck kicker, four inch paddle tail. Put it on our jig head like so. God, it's hot out here, y'all. It was 101 degrees in the truck. That's what my truck told me. Water temperature is ranging from 89 to 91 degrees. Late afternoon. That's about the only time I get to fish between charters, doing my flounder gigging and bow fishing charters. So we're gonna see if any of those flounder wanna eat with it this hot. Something you can do with these four inch butt kickers when you get them out of the pack, stretch that tail a little bit on them. Stretch that tail. I know you can't do that with gup, they'd come apart, but stretch that tail and that gets them loosened up a little bit and gives them a little bit more tail action. Oh yeah. I have not had one of these butt kickers tied on since winter time when I was speckle trout fishing. So we're gonna see what we can catch. Look at there, look at there. First cast, y'all. First cast. Very first cast. Get in the boat. Oh, come on, get in the boat. <laughs> Whoo, I tell y'all what. Absolute very first cast. <laughs> I'd say he's about a 14 inch, 15 inch flounder, y'all. First flounder on the first cast. Woo! Boom! Get in that box! Very first cast. Let's go! All I'm doing is a bump, bump, pause, y'all. Good old bump, bump, pause, retrieve. I got my net out, y'all. It's laying right over there. And y'all know I preach it. Get the net. Always use a net when you flounder fishing. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> First cast, y'all. I really like getting parallel to these rocks and casting down them. But these have sections with big boulders just out there off, off the bank in this section. And it's real hard to do that. I get hung up every time. So we're going to try this method for a little while. It worked on that first fish. Let's see if it'll work again. I know this is just a slight steady drop off down to a big, big channel. So just bumping bottom, working that jig head and that butt kicker out towards deeper water. All right, I feel another one. I feel another one, y'all. Here he is. Fish on. Fish on, another flounder, y'all. Another flounder. Another flounder, y'all. That was like the fifth cast. Woo, come on. Come on. Come on, get in that net. There you go. See, that's why. 
that's why you use the net that bait was all the way in that flounder's mouth Whew. and i almost lost him again Whew. yes sir yes sir another flounder about 15 inches long carbon copy of the last one look at the pretty colors on that guy y'all in the box have not been fishing five minutes y'all have not been fishing five minutes already got two flounder in the boat i love flounder fishing i felt that bite i didn't set the hook i felt a, a little boom, just a little thump and i stopped everything i was doing i watched my line my line wasn't moving i got a little tip, bit of tension on it and i could i could feel that fish moving just a little bit set the hook y'all don't be too quick to set a hook give a flounder time he's not going to spit out these fish bite products i guarantee you he's not going to put it in his mouth and say oh god what's that that tastes nasty and spit it out no he wants it he will not spit it out of his mouth so you got time don't get in any hurry go slow just a little bump bump pause all you want you cannot retrieve too slow when you're flounder fishing you just want to give it a little hop boom boom let it fall boom boom let it fall croaker croaker again feel that machine gun bite do, 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 do. that's a croaker don't set the hook just try to reel it on past him he normally won't follow it he may bump at it about two or three times and then he'll leave it alone we got a falling tide we got current coming down these rocks wind has laid down everything is setting up to be a good night for flounder gigging too I apologize for having to fish right in the sun like that, but that's the only way I can get where I need to get. So maybe there won't be too much glare on the video. Alright, feels like a flounder. Oh! I think I was hung on a rock, y'all. Let me check my leader. I always check your leader. Leader's good. I'm using 20 pound braid with a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. That's my inshore setup. I do that for everything. Don't have to do it with my redfish, but I, I do it on everything I set up. It works out good with me. I hardly, rarely ever have any issues. Hang on. It looks like my old buddy Chris McMillan right there just fishing charters coming in from a snapper trip that's gotta be him yep that's him he recognized the old bayou bandit i gotta go then son y'all no, right <laughs> Yo, hammer on him just caught two flounder i ain't no you ain't messed me up <laughs> right I got you <laughs> yeah that wind laid down a lot oh fish on fish on fish on oh it's a good fish what have we got it sure felt like a good fish. Look at that bull croaker, y'all. That bull croaker right there is going in the box. Look at that rascal. Look at the size of that rascal. Look at 
look at the size of that rascal. That rascal about 14 inches long. He'll eat, son. He'll make a sandwich. Definitely make a sandwich. Get in that box. He hit it like he was mad at it, y'all. I mean, like he was mad at it. I know it didn't feel like no flounder. There we go, there we go. Flounder number three, y'all. Flounder number three, what a subtle bite. I felt my line stop. Oh, we gonna boat flip him. There we go. I felt my line stop and that was it. And I started watching my line and it started swimming off. He absolutely inhaled it, y'all. That fish is pure hot. This water temperature is so hot. I can't believe they're still actually feeding with it this hot. I think that's why we've had a slow bite today. And he has swallowed it. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get our pliers. All right, that guy absolutely swallowed that jig head. I knew my line had stopped. And I'm like, am I hung on something? That was a very finicky bite. Got that hook right through the side of his head. On the butt kicker in the tap out color. That bait is chewed up. It's called three flounder and a, that big old bull croaker on it. But it's still surviving, y'all. That's the smallest flounder of the day. It is a legal fish coming in it right at 15 inches y'all going in the box all right y'all nice little afternoon bite it was hot it was so hot i almost didn't come out here and fish 100 degree weather water temperature 90 91 degrees still able to catch a decent amount of flounder got enough for a, for a bunch of sandwiches three flounder that bull croaker Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out a lot. I appreciate it, and I'll see y'all on the next one.